Hi guys, this is Ruben. Uh, I just wanted to quickly run through uh, the Sigma wallet in Testnet. So we got most of the stuff working. Uh, we're just working on some stability fixes. So so currently uh, you can see me mining and I just wanted to quickly run through uh, the minting and spending process. So right now, let's say, uh, you know, we instead of like minting one by one in the previous wallet, it's a lot better now. Like for example, if I want to do 589.4, uh, it would actually break it down into the necessary denominations to make it happen. So you see now it's pending. You can see this uh, is anonymized. And let's also just see a spend. What happens if I spend, let's say, seven one two points, you know, eight or nine? How does it handle it? <coughs> okay. So we have seen the mint anonymize, and just let's take a look at it on the test explorer. Um, so you can see here if we expand it <coughs> when we put 589.4 it's been broken down into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then uh, that's 5 times 100 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then the necessary 1 mins uh, it also does the necessary uh, 0.1 mins so you do get it all automated and easily done uh, in just one transaction without having to, to make it one by one. Now take a look. Uh, this will actually you know change the numbers here to show how many denominations of each. So here you have, we I have about 154 uh, mints of 100 denomination, and it all does this uh, auto breakdown. So that's really great. Now let's take a look. Uh, so just now I did the spend. Remember of seven one two point eight. Let's take a look here, and you can see that how it breaks it down is that it took seven times. Uh, you know, it automatically selected the right denominations and uh, any change that is like not spent goes back into mint right so you know there's no potential leakage uh, that's a great thing because like previously let's say when you burn some coins and then you redeem them later and let's say if you only needed to spend it partially what happened then is that the change then went into your main wallet which could mix with funds and taint it here uh, there's no chance of tainting because any change is reminted immediately and as well if there's anything that's below 0 0.1 that gets paid as fees to the miner right, as you can see there's a fee of roughly around 0 0.1 so I do think this is a huge improvement in both privacy and usability although the interface is really simple we're still working on a more fancy one but we think this gives you know much better use uh, of uh, well you know Sigma technology and we hope to launch this in the next coming few weeks or so uh, we just want to make sure we get all the stability issues right but otherwise uh, you know everything works the same like in the previous wallet except for this tab so you know give it a shot it's all open on uh you know on testnet so give it a shot